Good afternoon. This is Tina. How are you doing? Uh, we are gonna talk about a buffer. <clears throat> First, I want to share a little bit about why do we need a buffer, right? Uh, when we just uh, write a uh, plain JavaScript, which is uh, the JavaScript execute inside the browser, most of the time, we are just uh, working with the string values, like uh, grab some information from a form or read some data in the DOM. Uh, all the values can be represented using the string and in the uh, Unicode uh, in character set, right? And most of the time, uh, UTF-8 should be enough, right? So uh, string works fine in the browser JavaScript, but when we do the node, node is designed for the server side programming, right? And which means you have lots of uh, um, like uh, features or scenarios. You might need to work with the file system. You might need to work with the like uh, the images, uh, files, and the database connection. All all kinds of not limited to the string. So, which means you might need to, need to work with the raw binary data. Uh, sometimes it's fine to use the string, raw string values, but it won't work with most of the cases and it's not that efficient. And that's why we need a buffer, okay? Buffer is designed to work uh, with the raw binary data. And uh, so each buffer is going to have a raw memory location outside of our V8, okay, memory location. And uh, uh, most of the time, we probably won't, we probably won't using the uh, buffer, this uh, like kind of like a, a class alone because uh, when we use buffer sometimes we will most of the time we will call ordinate or use together with the stream like uh, um, <clears throat> suppose we want to read a file right if the file is very very big we don't want to read the entire file as a string value returned at once. We want to return a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And that a little bit of chunk is using a buffer. This is uh, how we're using buffer most of the time with the streams. Or we can using the uh, buffer with the HTTP request response. Those is also a stream, okay? But in this demo, I just want to show you if you really want to using raw buffer. And uh, uh, we have the buffer provide some ways to do that. And uh, I'll just show you some very basic demo, okay? Uh, we're using a uh, buffer demo.js, okay? And <coughs> suppose you want to have a, a raw buffer, okay? Just to create a raw buffer one, okay? Equals, you can using buffer this uh, class dot allocate, okay? And you give how many like uh, bytes you want. Okay, if now I want, to, I print out, this one means eight byte. And now I go back, go to buffer, oh, sorry. Okay, then node buffer demo.js. Those are using re uh, zero, 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 okay? So it will print uh, eight, by, eight bytes of zero for you. This is, uh, uh, it's gonna be in the, in, uh, represent a raw memory location, okay? And uh, suppose you want to, you can also get a buffer from, data from, from you can get a buffer from some like uh, integers okay like uh, 1 4 6 7 2 8 9 like this 
And now when we print, it is also gonna be represented using the buffer too. It, you want to see, you want to see. It will also print the eight, eight, eight byte. Okay, this is each is one byte. And also you can get a buffer using the buffer dot from and here you can give also or give a string value and most of the time uh, in node it, you want you are using UTF-8 as the encoding character encoding okay so when you read you will know it's gonna using ATF-8 it also support for other character encoding but UTF-8 uh, it's the most popular or common used one in inside uh, in, inside the node, and all of them gonna be represent use. This one is you each of the character gonna using the UTF-8 to represent that, and if you want to get that, you have to using buffer dot to string dot log buffer three dot two string value okay you will get it exactly and uh, if you want you can also pass uh, pass uh, character encoding what you, which character encoding you are actually using okay so that's it for the buffer because most of the time we probably won't using the buffer alone and most of the time we were using with the stream so when we we will give some example later when we using stream and buffer together okay so that's it for the buffer thank you for watching and uh, see you next time bye bye